automated palletizing process is just the process of putting cases, totes, objects onto a pallet. Um, we have a variety of different ways to do that, conventional machines, robotic, uh, manual. Um, we also have ways to help that manual operation. So if you're not doing any palletizing, there's a lot of things to consider. First of all is it's like, what type of solution do you need? What kind of rates do you produce the products at? Are there flexibility in robotics that you can bring to bear? Does that, is that what you value? Do you foresee your production rates growing over a, a, a period of time? And so you might want to consider a higher speed palletizer to address your needs. So there's a lot of factors that come into play when selecting a palletizing system. Robotic palletizing systems tend to be a little slower, and those are really focused in on if you've got a production line that may have maybe not a lot of volume, um, but you may have a fair amount of SKUs, um, that lends itself towards being able to be handled with a, a robotic palletizing system. Uh, conventional machines, they tend to be a little faster, um, and so if you've got a high production, you lean more toward conventional palletizing. And the technology continues to evolve, both in the conventional and robotic palletizing, as sensing technology improves, more information is available, computational power is improving, so there's advances every day. And it being leveraged to address a lot of the challenges that our customers face, you know, changes in packaging, all the labor I issues here, all this evolution of the technology is being brought to bear to continue to solve those problems in better and more cost-effective ways. There's a lot of science that goes into what makes most sense, and that's one of the strengths that we bring to our customers is we have so much experience in the palletizing arena, we, and we can assist them in selecting the right technology for the right job. We'll make it work.